Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel, Queen of All the Trades. It's your girl, Queen Supermodel, and today I have your February 2020 monthly reading. Now, I'm going to say that I am accepting <clears throat> you guys' questions, okay? I'm answering your questions for free for this whole month of February, okay? So go ahead, and if you have a question that you want to ask me, go ahead and put it in the, in the comment section, and... Each week on Sunday, I'll answer all of you guys' questions for that week, okay? Um, if you don't have a question for this week, then you can just submit it next week. I mean, for the weekly reading. Um, I mean, for the weekly reading um, video, okay? So, without further ado, let's get right into your reading, you guys. So, happy birthday, Aquarius. Happy birthday to y'all. So, let me try to answer you this from one of these cards that just blew out the lovers. Some of you guys are definitely going to make a decision if you're in love, okay? Um, yeah, working on a relationship. I feel like you guys will be working on a type of relationship. Let's see. You okay. guys, I have a very happy birthday, okay? I know I had a good time for my birthday, y'all. You guys, I hope you guys are having a happy birthday. Today is, is my baby's birthday, <laughs> my little lover, and today is my nephew's birthday as well. I like to call my nephew. Right after I finish this read, it's time happy birthday because I almost forgot because I thought about him this morning, but it was too early in the morning to call. He's probably asleep. You know, it's Saturday, he don't got no school. Okay, so let's get right into it. Happy birthday, you guys. Hope you have a wonderful one. Okay. And this is for the person that Aquarius is dealing with or thinking about. Okay, so the overall energy, you guys, is the Ace of Cups. So you guys, there's definitely new opportunities in love for you guys. Some of you guys could be thinking about making an offer of love, okay, or accepting an offer of love, or whether or not you even want to give you a cup of love to someone, okay? So, for your past energy, you have the Two of Swords, okay? So, you guys could have been in this stalemate type of energy, okay? You're some type of standstill energy, not wanting to see things, not wanting to really talk about things, not wanting to really communicate about it. You just want to be, you know, stuck in a standstill type of energy here, okay? Um, this is definitely of Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra energy. Definitely um, somebody that has Libra in that chart. With this moon here, though, it could be somebody that has Pisces in their chart or a Libra moon, okay, or something like that. And you guys' present energy, we have the Eight of Coins, so I feel like you guys are definitely making an effort in the situation. Okay, now that we just seen this um, when I was shuffling the cards, you guys are definitely making an effort in the situation or putting in work, okay, or working a lot, all right, in your present energy, and then... Um, for the future energy, we have the tower. Wow. So there's definitely some type of shocking revelations that's going to be coming to light here with this tower. Scorpio and um, Aries energy. But then with the um, the eight of coins is Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Okay. Again, the person that you're thinking about or dealing with in the past, you had the world. Okay. So there was definitely some type of um, new cycles going on in this person's life. There was definitely a completion here. Um, some cycles in the, in, the, in the situation here. And then their present energy is the sun. Okay, so they um, are feeling really happy. Like, things are definitely being revealed. Things are coming to light. Um, there's definitely some type of rebirth here. Um, dealing with this person. Like, this person is feeling really excited. I'm feeling good. Dealing with, thinking about your person's energy here. And um, in the future, this person has judgment. So there's definitely some type of decision that this person has definitely made. Okay. And I feel like this person feels good about the decision that they made here. Um, you can have Leo, they can have Leo in that chart, okay, or um, Gemini, okay. 
So let me go ahead and clarify your, your past energy, which is the Two of Swords. Okay. So what was you feeling stuck about the stalemate type of energy? Okay. Yeah. So you guys just wasn't really making any moves right now. Um, well, in the past, you was just in a stalemate type of energy, not really making any moves, wanting things to move a little bit slow. Okay. Taking your time um, when it came to, when it comes to, you know, Moving forward, yeah, possibly in regards to um, making this love offering, okay, or offering this couple love or accepting this couple love. So it's not like if somebody was offering a couple love to you, I don't, I mean, offering their love to you or trying to show you some type of emotions or love or just, you know, wanting to get to know you. I don't feel like you was blocking them out on purpose. I feel like you just wanted things to move a little bit slow, okay, and maybe this person could have been moving a little bit too quick for you guys. Um, but I felt like he was moving a little bit slow because of some type of betrayal or some type of ending, okay, that you were trying to work out or, or you was basically, um, trying to make the effort and because you felt like you betrayed somebody. So you were just taking things a little bit slow. Okay. Of course, Gemini, Libra energy, specifically, um, Gemini energy and Taurus Virgo Capricorn and we have Taurus energy here. Okay. So let's clarify the um, Eight of Pentacles. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Aquarius, please. Yeah, I feel like you guys just want to take your time and move a little bit slow with the situation. We have Temperance here. Yeah, you guys are definitely making an effort here in the situation to clarify the Eight of Pentacles. And you want to, um, you want things to be balanced out in the situation. You want, you know, peace and harmony in the situation. And I feel like you guys are um, beginning to heal in a situation. Heal from some type of ending or some type of death. Okay, moving forward, you guys are definitely planning and plotting and waiting for your ships to come in. And you're just trying to balance out. Some things here. Could be feeling for Scorpio or Sagittarius. Okay, or Aries Leo Sagittarius. Oh, okay. This card just flipped out. Some of you guys definitely um are in a naive state here, okay, or not really wanting to make this new beginning here moving forward, okay. Um, some of you guys just don't want to give equally in the situation, okay, or you real naive and you giving too much. I feel like you're giving too much in a situation to somebody, okay? So some of you guys need to be watching out for that. Could be done with an Aquarius or Aries, okay? But that's moving forward into the future, you guys. You need to just be paying attention to that, okay? Um, there's definitely some offers coming towards you guys with the Ace of, with the eight Four of Cups, okay? That you guys are contemplating here. And that can have a lot to do with this Ace of Cups here. But whatever this offer is that you're contemplating about, I feel like it's... You're ten of cups, okay? It's your divine happiness. This could lead to marriage, okay? Your lifetime partner here. Okay, with family and kids, but I feel like you guys are definitely going to be, you know, in complete bliss and happiness, but you're dealing with this, okay? To figure out if this is what you want moving forward here, okay? Some of you guys could be in some type of confrontation with a Leo, okay? Or with any fire sign because we have the um, five of wands, there could be definitely some argument, fight, and, and some type of conflict here, dealing with um, a fire sign, specifically a Leo or a Sagittarius, as I see those two out, but, um, well, it could be an Aries, because I see the tower right there, but, um, I feel like you guys are definitely trying to be strong in the situation here, um, with dealing with this conflict, okay? Clarify the tower, please, for Aquarius. Thank you, thank you. Okay, this one. Um, the King of Swords. Okay, this is Gemini energy. So you guys, there's definitely some type of some type of tower moment that's gonna happen. This is in your future energy, okay? So that can happen like today, tomorrow, anytime, you know. But this is in the future energy. So there's definitely some type of tower moment that will take place in the situation um, for you guys here. And it's going to cause you guys to be, you know, thinking clearly about the situation. Um, yeah, you guys are going to be forced to think clearly in the situation. 
and to make a head over heart decision. There's definitely some type of truth that came to light, okay? Um, or you're going to be offered some type of truth here in the situation because this Ace of Swords is all about telling the truth, okay? Um, the truth will prevail here in the situation. And I feel like the truth definitely came out with this tower moment here. Could be done with Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, or Gemini. This page of um, Pentacles wanted to come out. I feel like it wanted to come out in reverse, but it was like sideways. So I feel like you need to think clearly about whether or not you want to continue to invest in the situation here. Could be done with the Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, okay? Or you can have those signs in your charts, but you need to be thinking about whether or not. I feel like you're going to be thinking about whether or not you want to make any more investments or manifest into the situation here or just move away, okay, with the Six of um, six of Swords here. But I feel like you guys are definitely going to be getting some type of enlightenment here with the um, hangman, okay? And that is Cancer and um, Pisces energy. All right, so let's see what's going on with your person. What are they thinking about? So in their past energy, they had the world. So like I said, some cycles. Things, there was definitely a lot of changes. I'm not going to say cycles because, you know, it could be anything. But there was definitely a lot of changes in that situation. They could be, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, but there was definitely a lot of changes for this person. Okay, some things ending in their lives here. Okay, that's what that, yeah. There was definitely some changes. And this person they could possibly either be thinking about reconciling with you or just thinking about, you know, past memories, things that happened in the past. Okay. Um, yeah, I feel like they want to come and reconcile because we have <laughs> the Red Cups. So this person wants to, you know, reconcile here in a situation. All right. Could be um, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, I feel like this person definitely wants to move forward with the Six of um, Wands. It's coming back out. They want to come back to you with the Six of Wands because, look, it's definitely... The boat is moving towards this person and they want to go back and reconcile to somebody in the past. So I feel like this person wants to go back to somebody in, the, in this past. So maybe you and this person had a past together and this person want to come back to you. I don't know. But I feel like that was definitely, they want to let you know something. Some truth is definitely going to be revealed here with the Ace of Swords, okay? In the past, they wanted to come, I feel like they wanted to come back and reconcile and they wanted to tell you some type of truth, truthful information um, or communicate what they was thinking. Whatever it is they're coming back to say or them wanting to come back and reconcile is the truth, okay? Or they're coming back to say some type of truth. Okay, and this person definitely have a lot of emotions for you with being in the King of Cups energy, okay? Even if they don't really show it to you a lot. I feel like this person definitely wasn't really showing any emotions. They was, like, being really good at concealing what it is that they, how they felt about you. But they have an overwhelmingly, like, amount of emotions. And that's just, you know, yeah, I mean, if it's, and it's the male, um, the male energy of the of this card, so that's just how pretty much males handle their emotions anyway. Some of them really don't just display it like that, they just keep it all inside. Okay, you could be dealing with a Pisces male or um, a Cancer or somebody that has those signs in their chart. But whatever it is, this person definitely want to let you know how they feel about them. This is what I'm feeling, well, they let you know that in the past when they came back to reconcile and let you know how they felt. Um... Okay, so in their present energy, they have the sun. So this person is definitely happy, okay? Um, really happy. Could be someone for Leo. Like I was saying, there could have been some truth that came to light, some things that was definitely revealed. Yeah, you are this person's wish fulfillment, okay? This person is definitely happy with the sun card and the um, and the <laughs> and the nine of cups. This person is definitely happy dealing with you. Um, they're in a really good mood here. And this person is definitely in this go-getter type of energy. Um, could be an Aries, but this person definitely is go get it type of energy here. Um, when you're ready to go after what it is that they want, okay, you feel attracted to this person. Oh, this person is definitely attracted towards you. Like, they feel really happy. You know, they got somebody that's attractive. They they, they go for what it is they want here, okay. Um, yeah, I feel like this person is definitely going after what it is that they want. I feel like... Somebody walked away in the situation, and I feel like this person is coming after you. Like, they want to go back to you. And this is what I'm saying in the past. So this is what they, they, their past energy is. And now they're feeling really good and confident, and their wishes are going to be fulfilled because I feel like they're going to get that catch, okay? They're going to get this, this fiery energy that they feel really good about. This person is really attracted to you. 
oh, this person is really, really attractive. Oh, okay. Damn, all the cards that have fallen on the floor. Okay, so we have the Knight of Swords, okay, that came out. Um, so I feel like there's going to be communication coming in from this person really quick. This person want to rush back to you. Like, they feel really good. It could be an Aquarius, um, but this person definitely want to rush back to you. They see you as their other counterpart here um, with the King of um, Wands, okay, and the Queen of Wands. Like, this person definitely see you as their other half, okay? They really do. They see you as their other half, like their lifetime partner here. And it's possible this person is definitely thinking about coming towards you with plans for the future, okay? They want to take action towards you. Like, together, you guys are a cute couple, okay? Um, that's what I'm saying. I see that y'all two are a really cute couple together. Um, and let me pick up these cards, y'all. Let me see how y'all have to fall. One to the floor. Let's make sure that they're in the upright position. Okay, so like I was saying, I think that you guys are definitely, um, yeah, you guys are right an attractive couple together. Um, and people see that. They feel like you are definitely, you know, the one for them. They're very passionately um, attracted to you. And they just feel like you were the one for them. That's what I'm picking up here. With this person that you're dealing with. Um, could be a Sagittarius. Could be um, a Aries. A Leo or... Um, an Aquarius, somebody that has those signs in their chart. Okay, or you can have these signs in your chart. But yeah, this person feels like, yeah, they really happy being with you. Um, and then let's see what this judgment is about. Take time for judgment, please, for the person that Aquarius is thinking about or dealing with. Clarify the judgment, please, for the person that Aquarius is thinking about or dealing with. I feel like they have a decision that they need to make as far as um, a relationship is concerned, okay? And whether or not they want to start this brand new passionate beginning with you guys here. Um, or they making a, they making a decision about a relationship, maybe solidating a relationship. Because I feel like you guys are definitely, the relationship is definitely going somewhere um, with you and this person here. I feel like things are going to be made more official here. And it's definitely going to be a brand new passionate beginning, but... This person is thinking about giving this offer here, giving this offer or um, or receiving an offer from you and contemplating it. Because like I said, you make this person happy, but somebody wants to take that time in the situation. Yeah, they just sitting back and watching and trying to gather some information before they attempt to make this, um, make this decision. Whoever this person is, I feel like if you guys aren't in separation or you guys aren't together in... You know, you're waiting for this person to come forward, you know, with how they feel or something like that. I feel like um, this person is definitely watching you and they see that, you know, you grabbing your bag, you get your money, you know, you stable, you handling the household, the family and all that. Like, they like these type of things about you. These are the characteristics that they really like with this Queen of Pentacles energy and this um, Queen of Wands energy, okay? And we have... Um, so you can be them definitely dealing with Virgo, somebody got Virgo on their chart, or Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Ooh, okay, that one had to fall across the floor. Okay, this person is definitely making some type of decision about getting getting out of their mind and getting unstuck out of the situation that they was in. Okay, like I said, definitely in the past cycles were changing. Um, with this person and I feel like this person is definitely coming out of their mind coming out of entrapment or whatever they was feeling stuck and trapped about here in the situation okay um, and I feel like that has a lot to do with their emotions okay with the king of cups energy because somebody was definitely concealing their emotions even though they had a lot of emotions for you here um, I feel like they getting stuck they coming out of that situation here um, because they really care about you. They love you, like, a lot, okay? They hit this ten of cups right here. This person wants a family with you. They want to marry you. Like, they just have so much emotion for you. So 
So we're dealing with somebody that has a Pisces in their chart, okay? Yeah, they want this new beginning with you. They're ready to take this thought and they're ready to make an offer to you here, okay? Or they're hoping that you make an offer towards them. They want a brand new beginning with you. This is what I'm picking up here. And that's why we have this Ace of Cups here because <laughs> there's definitely a new love offering kind of opportunity for you guys to, you know, meet somebody new or the love that you've been waiting for. This Whatever this Ace of Cups means to you, you know, it's coming towards you and it's going to be offered to you and it's definitely going to be victorious, okay? Um, I feel like you definitely going to be victorious in a situation. I feel like this is going to be public information. Like, it's not going to be no low-key relationship. I feel like it's going to be a relationship where people can see, like, you're going to be getting some type of recognition here with this situation here. And I feel like it was just a long time coming. Like, you've been patiently waiting for this, okay? Wow, this was pretty um, interesting. This is really a kind of a short monthly read for you guys so i'm gonna give y'all a romance angel card i forgot to read this for capricorn so don't tell them that because <laughs> i was talking so much in a reading that i forgot <laughs> i ain't even gonna lie let me give y'all some romance angels and see what the romance angels got to say all right um this is a really good reading though looking at your person and looking at you like i don't really see any negative effects here in the situation, except for this tower energy, but I feel like, you know, you could be thinking clear about the situation or whether or not you want to, you know, deal with it. Whatever that tower energy, whatever that shocking energy that happened um, or that will occur, you'll know what to do. You'll be able to figure out. I mean, you'll be thinking on your feet. Like, you're a thinker. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. Like, you, you're not going to be falling all apart emotionally or going all erratic about the situation. That's what I'm feeling like. I feel like you're going to be making a responsible um, choice here because, like I said, you got to make a head over heart decision of whether or not you want to continue to invest in the situation or not. And I feel like you're going to be making that choice pretty good. Um, let's see. What is the messages for Aquarius for February 2023? Begin to you. Oh, okay. This one wanted to fall out. Okay, so we have let your friends help you. Okay, it says ask and accept for support from others. Okay, so that's a situation where you guys need um, support, you know, from somebody. Don't be afraid to ask them. Okay. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to ask this person. Let your friends help you um, in this situation. And, um, we have new love, okay? And it says, a new person has stirred your romantic feelings, okay? And I feel like, yeah, this knight is coming to, like, woo this lady or whatever you said in this picture. He, like, kneeling down to her and, like, trying to kiss her hand or whatever. Like, I'm proclaiming my love to you. This is what this Ace of Cups is, you guys. <laughs> this person coming to do that, okay? It's that we have retreats, okay? So I feel like you guys are definitely going to be spending some time together. Yeah, in the situation, and it says it is time to disconnect from the world. Okay, so I feel like you guys are definitely going to be um, retreating together because look, these two are like going off together and being away, you know, from everybody else. And then we have make the effort here, and it says, um, Great love is worth taking the steps you are guided to take. Okay, so I feel like somebody is definitely working on the situation, okay, making an effort. This is what I was saying right here when I was saying that. Somebody was putting in the work or making an effort here and trying to balance things out in the situation. All right. And then um, we have soulmates. Okay. Like I said, this person is really happy. Like, they feel like you are that other part, that other half. And it says, yes, this is your soulmate. <laughs> okay. No lie. This is definitely your soulmate here. So this was your reading, Aquarius. This was a really great reading. Um... I feel really good about these energies that I'm picking up for you guys for this month. So if it's really resonating for you guys, go ahead and um, like this video and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have a question that you want to ask me, go ahead and put it in the comment section and I'll make sure that your question gets answered on this Sunday coming. Well, not this Sunday, tomorrow, but the next, the next week, Sunday, not tomorrow, Sunday. Okay, because this video is going up on Saturday, so 
is going to start from Sunday to Sunday, if that makes sense. Hold on, let me see what day that is. Before I... Okay, so that could be Sunday on the 15th. So the 15th is when I'm going to be um, answering the questions, all right? So go ahead and submit your question. You have all the way until the 15th to submit your question, and then I'll post a video answering your questions, okay? So that's all to it. Thank you guys for watching the video, and hopefully this reading helped you guys out a lot, and I'll see you guys in the next one.